Right, so this is probably one of the funniest videos I've made in quite a long time because Selby, as a town, is falling apart. Not because we're lose, not just because we're losing a lot of you know retail outlets that are either going into admission or closing down for some other reason that's just absolute stupid in today's society. And that's not even factoring all the chavs that are around in Selby. But we're also dealing with fake homeless scammers which are basically just homeless people, but, you know, look a little nicer, they don't really look dirty at all, and, uh, you know, basically, they're pretending to be homeless. Now, this is, in my opinion, quite different to previous scams I've come across, because this has got to be one of the most saddest scams ever. Like, pretending to be homeless has got to be one of the most dumbest and depressing things you could ever do. Especially because most people wouldn't think that they're trying to scam you. It was only until I saw it on Facebook, on Save Our Selby, that I immediately knew, yeah, yeah, now I know. You want to know why? Because I fell for that at one point too, like a year or two ago. So, yeah, I, I, I got fooled, okay? I wasn't aware at the time, but now I'm aware than ever, and I literally chased one of them out of town. <laughs> One time, I was paying more attention, like I was out pretty much all day. I saw one of them, this was this is after I've recorded that video, by the way, because the next day, a different person was there, with the exact same sign and that and everything like that. It, it's just so coincidental, isn't it? Because they're, they're all working for one person of higher authority that's like this, I don't know, I can only assume it's like a mafia boss type bullshit. But, like, basically, those scammers would get dropped off in, like, you know, stuff like Mercedes and friggin' BMWs. You know, that they're just examples. That I happen to come across a Mercedes that someone had come out of. Um, and, like, you know, they'd just be there for a set period of time before they get either picked up or take a bus back to uh, that location or somewhere else. You know what I mean? Because this will most likely be happening in York as well. I mean, like, the downside as well is it's even more confusing in York because there is a lot of genuine homeless people in York. So it kind of gives them a bit of bad reputation as well. But either way, they're in need of help. And these scammers are taking advantage of that. So it's gotten to the point now where people don't know what who's fake or what isn't. Usually you can tell by how tatty genuine homeless people look, and that's one thing to look out for with homeless people. If they look really tatty and got loads and loads of equipment on them, chances are they are homeless. So just keep that in mind, because if, if someone's just carrying one bag, someone, like, groups of people around in Selby, they all have the same sign and just one rucksack, even having, like, new phones and all that sort of stuff, they are scammers begging for money. Oh my god, it just, it really frustrates me, the fact that people have the nerve to just scam people in the most saddest way possible. And, and like, they're mainly targeting elderly people who aren't aware of all these scams. It's, it seems to be common knowledge to them to go after older people, because they're the most vulnerable, and that is what makes it even worse. So, obviously, I'm going to show you this video now of me chasing out a homeless scammer. Uh, if you can call him homeless, I don't, I'm still, still, still debating on whether the fact he is homeless or not, or she, she, they, them, who, what, because the, the chances are they're not, they're just scamming people, so anyway, here's the video, and to the people complaining on Facebook, you're welcome. So it started off with my main strategy, they don't really like to be exposed, so the best way to creep them out a little bit is by recording them. Because they don't want to be caught out, really. So they're going to feel a little bit threatened or, you know, scared. So, yeah, I just kept recording him until he started confronting me. So that's what you're seeing right now, anyway. Ah, I just got a nice copy of his face there for future reference. Probably going to have to report that personally. And that's the thing as well, is this... They usually have the same sign, but sometimes there's different people, like, that it's, that, like, they just alternate them just to make it seem more realistic, in which case it isn't. So, yeah, definitely a scam operation, and I'm definitely not liking it. But I don't like it one bit. And if you were paying attention to him, every, every single time I kept recording, he never 
Not once did he take his eyes away from me. He was literally looking at me dead in the face the entire time I was there. He was definitely freaking out in the inside. And it will only get worse from here. See, now he's trying to communicate as if I already don't know what's going on already. See, ever since I got the camera out, he's now just staring at me continuously. And that already screams suspicious. Pardon? I'm allowed to. I think I don't know what's going on here. Look on his phone. I wonder if he's got like an iPhone 16 or something. <laughs> I bet that's how it works. Yeah, oh, look, someone's just paid him now. It's got to be like the easiest way to make money, I'm sure, of like just scamming people. That's got to be the easiest side hustle. I might have to try that. That's what I mean, like, I've read on Facebook, like, people try to give him food and that as well, but, like, he only accepts money. And that's very, very disgraceful. It's, it's not it's not grateful at all. But, like, if people, if he really wants to try, if he really wants people to help him out, then he should accept food as well, but he doesn't. It's just money. And it, it really is disrespectful to the people living in Selby. Now, all the stuff I am saying as well is actually being spoken at quite a loud volume, just so I can get my point across and so he, he can hear all this as well, so he knows I'm on to him. Packing up. Packing up now, where we go. Is he had enough of me filming him now? That's a shocker. So now it's got to the point now where he's had enough of me filming him. So he's actually packing up now and he wants to try and get away from me. So l let the long journey begin of him just running away from me. I mean, he wasn't really running, but he was definitely panicking. So yeah, um, I just kept following him at like a safe distance just in case, just to avoid like, pers like physical conflict. So enjoy the ride. This has got to be the best vlog I've done. Oh my, because he knows I'm on swim, because it's not really homeless. And I don't like it when people are being exploited because of, you know, because, because people, you know, because of people that are begging. And that's not good. It really isn't. To, oh, I know what he's doing. He's probably trying to circle the area. Switch sides, just to keep a safe distance. Keeps looking at me. It's so suspicious. No, it's going that way instead. Best selby vlog ever. Trying to exploit a homeless person that isn't really homeless and is trying to scam people. But that's what I mean. But, but that's, but that's, but that's what I mean. It's like you got you got to be cautious. Looking at me, he keeps looking at me. I'm not a suspicious one here. I'm trying to exploit a scam here. Well, expose a scam. Yeah, that's the right word. see a scam when I see one. I'm not stupid. I may have autism and ADHD, but that doesn't stop me from not spotting scams. I'm just like every other person, for God's sake. I just keep picking things up. Is it just dropping money and then picking it up? Really, I'm not stupid. Just over there. Oh, 
already sold it here. The homeless person. I'm, I'm sorry, a standard person. Because he's actually working for someone of higher authority. So. Has he got an iPhone 16? Bro, he's got an iPhone 16, mate. How is he homeless? No way. He's got a fucking iPhone 16. You're telling me he's homeless. That is fucking bullshit. I mean, sure, anyone could just walk out of that. Like, maybe they've recently become homeless, but the iPhone 16's only been out a few months. How has he afforded that? Oh, I know, because he's been scamming people. Because he's not really homeless. He works for a boss man and a couple other colleagues who like to alternate and that. You know, just so I could seem, you know, more, less suspicious that, you know, there's more than one homeless person around Selby. Like, come on. And now he, he has the audacity to take pictures of me. Come on, come on, mate. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Now that I think about it, he's probably sending the pictures of me to, like, his frigging mafia boss to try and track down his spies, probably whoop my ass or something. Who knows? I mean, they're, they're a bit reckless, so I'm still kind of uh, banking on something bad happening because it usually does with someone like me. Everything always goes wrong with me, so, you know, bring it on. He's on the phone, yes, he's, he knows I'm on to him. He knows. Imagine if he's on the phone to police. Come on, cars, I haven't got all day. Oh. Oh, he's right, there is. You have to the bus station. Pardon? I'm allowed to vlog in Selby, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do vlog in Selby. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah, I'm just walking and I'm I'm allowed to I'm allowed to record. I'm walking. Pardon? I'm walking. Yeah. That's okay. You're not really almost pal. I know what you're up to. I have it all on the film. Take your photos of me. More like fucking scam operation. I don't even understand. You know what? I'm just going to park right here. Is he recording me now? It's recording me. Uh... Yep. Uh, yeah, he's off in the York bus now. But he may have gone in the York bus, but it still doesn't end there. Seems like he's off to York. <laughs> Oh mate, that's not nice. Put your friggin' f not nice putting your finger up at me. It's not really not really kind of you to do that anyway. Like I I'm I'm being subtle here. I'd say I'm actually doing a pretty good job here. He's putting his he's putting his finger up at me again. Oh, what phone is that? <laughs> Exploited a scammer. Fucking love it. Fuck you, was all he was saying to me. <laughs> you alright there, pal? You alright? Say hello to camera. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, uh, RW's Curtain Technology. You have no idea who I am, mate. I'm like, uh, you know, it's so easy to catch these. It really is. Ah. Oh my god, got some reverse action here. Nissan Leaf. Get fucked, honestly. <laughs> Guys, this is hilarious. He's on the phone now. Off to York now. Do the same shit in York now. Kind of funny, really, but uh, yeah, that kind of wraps up this vlog, really. Just literally kicked out a homeless scammer. Well, it's, well, it's probably not for homeless, but just gets kicked out of Selma. What phone is that? That's not an iPhone. Still a new phone. Come on, I can do better than that. Come on. Bye bye, scammer. Nice for you to join Selby. Nice for you to go. Now don't return back. And that is how I chased out a fake homeless scammer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought you. I hope you found it funny. And uh, oh, and be on a lookout if you see a homeless person. Be sure to observe, even down to the minor details. See any tattiness or anything like that. If there's no tattiness and very little equipment, chances are they're probably not homeless. Now, obviously, that's a relative term. It just depends on their situation as well. But like, if you're someone like me who who's found lots of, you know, details pointed out you know, across like two, three different people, then it's clearly obvious that that exact, that that exact group of people are not homeless and they're just scamming people for their change. And like even one person gave him a tenner. Like it's it's crazy how, ba how far people can go to try and help these scammers out because not a lot of people are aware of it. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. And like I said, be on the lookout. And I hope... Anyone on the Save Our Selby has watched this video and found it entertaining. Thanks for watching. Peace.